Insert Taylor Swift's Shake It Off song. I do a lot of things, weird things to stay warm. My staying warm thing is I do punches. I like If you punch with both hands for 20 seconds, you will be very warm very quickly. Back to the vlog. Right now I'm documenting a late season rifle elk hunt here in Montana. I'm gonna keep this one short. I'm just gonna dive into all the gear that I usually take on late season day hunts here in Montana. All right, first up is food. And again, this is for a day hunt and this equates to about 2,300 calories per day of high fat and quick metabolizing calories. Here I've got the Kenetrex Mountain Extreme boots. These are insulated version, super comfortable, really, really warm, pretty much my go-to late season cold weather boot. And then I pair these with Outdoor Research Crocodile Gators, best gator on the market, period. Camera gear. I've got the Swaro 95mm spotting scope with this on a Surui T024X tripod. With the help of my iPhone through this little device called a phone scope, I can mount my phone scope and my iPhone directly on there and get some really epic wildlife footage. And because cell phones usually die really fast, I've got a battery brick and an iPhone charging cable there. And then my two main cameras that I'm shooting with, this little guy is the Sony RX100 Mark VI. This camera, it's absolutely tiny, fits into a pocket. It's just kind of like that camera when something just happens instantly and you want to pull it out really quick and capture some footage. Uh, quality is super good and it's got a really epic zoom range of 24 to 200. And then my main camera here, and this is the Sony a7R Mark III, and on it I've got the 24 to 70 f2.8 G Master Sony lens. And the 24 to 70 is the most versatile lens out there in my opinion. If I could only have one lens to shoot with, with for the rest of my life, it would be this lens. Right, next is my backpack, and this is a Stone Glacier Solo 3300. I've got a waist belt pocket here for my headlamp, a waist belt pocket there for my little Sony camera, and I've got an FHF gear bear spray holster with bear spray in it. Every buckle on this pack I've outfitted with they're called auto lock buckles, and they have this little cam system in them that prevents the buckle from slipping. So it's especially nice when you're strapping on tripod or antlers or anything. Um, I think it has like a 250 pound braking strength. But these, when you cinch them down, the load is super secure and will not move. And inside this pack, I have a Stone Glacier camp pocket. And inside the zippered pocket, I have my emergency kit, which consists of Garmin in reach, satellite texting device, quick clot clotting sponge in case a bear attack or you stab yourself in the leg, you like tons of bleeding, matches, lighter, wet firefighter starter, flagging tape, Pepto-Bismol, rangefinder battery, extra headlamp battery, AAA battery for my microphone, an extra SD card in case one of my cameras doesn't have one in it or I forget it, emergency headlamp, and this is a Petzl E Plus Lite. The thing weighs like a couple ounces. It's super bright actually. And then down here, I've got Catodyne Micro Pure Water Purification Tablets, an outdoor edge knife, a couple extra blades, a Leatherman Squirt, a Schrade fixed blade knife with a carbide steel sharpener, a compression wrap, and you pair this compression wrap with the clotting sponge, so say you get a big giant cut on your leg, put the clotting sponge on it, you wrap it with the compression wrap, uh, should stop the bleeding in theory. Inside this, right in the middle there, in that little hole, I've got a bunch of ibuprofen wrapped up in there. And lastly, this is a SOL emergency bivy. Next is this Phoenix HL60R headlamp. It's my favorite head headlamp I've ever used. It's wicked bright, the battery lasts forever. I think its max output is like a thousand lumens, so you can light up the night if you need to. It also, it doesn't have a top or a bottom, so it doesn't matter which way you put it on, it's always in the right position. It's also rechargeable with a little micro USB cable, goes in right there. I've been using this headlamp for about a year now. I've never had the battery die, even on like 10 day trips, it still is like a wicked bright. Way better than any AAA, AA, just every other headlamp I've used out there and I've used a pile of them. I'm also not sponsored or endorsed by this company in any way, I bought this thing retail, but it's just so awesome and I wanna share how awesome it is. Some other pieces of gear. Favorite trekking pole of all time, this is the Black Diamond Carbon Fiber Whippet. For day hunts, I always bring at least two and a half liters of water. Got this in a one and a half liter hard Nalgene. This is a one liter platypus soft water bottle. And the great thing about these soft water bottles is as soon as you finish drinking all the water, this one's about half full, but they like condense down to absolutely nothing. So there's no space consequence to them. 
Got my binoculars and rangefinder in here. Rangefinder is a loophole to RX-1200i. Binos are Swarovski 10x42 ELs. And I've got these in a FHF gear bino harness All right, for clothing. And this is where things get really specific to later season colder weather hunts. Gloves I take with me on every single hunt everywhere are these, and these are shooter gloves. They're just like an extra layer of skin to your hands. And like if you're bushwhacking or uh, scrambling up through rocks, they're an awesome protective layer. And they're really easy to use with camera gear, touch finger capability for use with iPhones. You, have to, you don't have to take your gloves off to use your iPhone, which is nice. And then these gloves, which are the warmest gloves of all time, these are Sidka's Blizzard mitts. And these have a removable liner in them. This is a buff, and I just love these things because they're so thin and lightweight. I wear glasses a lot. For the most part, I can pull the buff up over my nose and over my ears and still hike hard and not fog up my glasses. So other face masks, they're just a lot thicker and I can't really get away with that. So that's one reason I like a buff. Sika large logo beanie. And then of course the Sika blaze orange vest. Up is insulation layers. On hunts that I know I'm gonna be pretty active on, like moving a lot, sweating a lot, I like this layering option, Kelvin Active Hoodie. You can hike pretty dang hard with this piece and it's still gonna be an insulation layer, which is awesome. If it's getting really cold, I'll layer this piece on top of it and this is the Kelvin Light Hoodie. And if I know I'm gonna be doing a ton of glassing and a ton of sitting and it's gonna be wicked cold, uh, this is what I bring. It's kind of like wearing a windproof sleeping bag. This is called the Kelvin Windstopper Hoodie. It's Primaloft filled windstopper outer. You can just sit on the windiest of ridges and just throw this guy on and you just like feel like you're at home in front of the fire. So every cold weather, late season, or really wet hunt. I skip traditional pants. Instead, I go with long underwear and then I wear rain pants on top of that. And so these are Sika's core lightweight long underwear and this is Sika's Stormfront pants. And these Stormfront pants, they have full length side zippers. You can vent them really easily. Another benefit of doing this is that you reduce a lot of the bulk. And you don't restrict your movement as much. So if you were wearing long underwear, regular pants and rain pants, like when you're stepping over logs and stuff, your range of motion gets decreased a lot. And then my rain jacket, which I also wear this almost all the time because it blocks the wind and it's waterproof. Yeah, this is the Stormfront jacket. And this is the most beefy, burly jacket that Sika makes. It's also probably this much longer at the base here than most of the other rain jackets. It hangs down over your butt better if you're riding a horse. It's just better uh, if you're layering this on top of like multiple puffy jackets. It's just gonna have more space and more room. And last but certainly not least, uh, this is probably like top three items in my kit. This is the Onyx Maps mobile app. This app is a GPS on your phone. It doesn't matter if you're in service or out of service, uh, you can navigate, you can drop pins, you can track routes, measure distances, you can share the location of your trail camera with your buddy so he can go check it in the summer. Like there's so many uses of Onyx Maps and the fact that it's on your phone is just epic because I don't even, I don't even carry a traditional GPS anymore with this thing. All right, that is everything that I take on late season hunts here in Montana. Actually, one more thing, this piece that I'm wearing right now, this is the core heavyweight hoodie from Sitka, and this is my base layer. All right, so that's a wrap on this vlog. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, definitely hit subscribe. I gotta prepare for a British Columbia mountain goat hunt with Dustin Rowe, so uh, we'll see you next time.